Ventusky is an app that gives you live updates on wind, rain and temperatures, also allowing users to see maps and detailed forecasts. One user just found a strange anomaly close to Montego Bay, Jamaica. The person who found it said the anomaly was just staying in one place, and that they often use the app, but hadn't seen anything like it before. They said that the satellite had detected the anomaly in early September, and that it hovered in the same region for around three days. The user posted the photographs and links to various online groups, in the hopes of getting an answer for what it was, but some of the users said they tried to view the image in the output and load, or that it had vanished. The man was able to take screenshots of the weather anomaly before it left, and noted that the shape of it didn't match anything that was coming up on the map. The photographs were eventually shared to online groups by users in the hopes of getting answers. However, it seemed that no one could explain what it was or what was causing it. One user said the following, It's been seen in the same area for a day now, and it doesn't appear to be moving. What's especially strange is that I've contacted people who live close to this region, and they've said that nothing is happening in the sky above them. This could just be an anomaly that showed up on the app, but what's odd is that these apps are usually pretty good at updating, and it's unlikely to see something like this stick around. It could just be some type of test that was carried out in the nearby area. It's not uncommon for government officials or scientists to spray chemicals in the air. This could just be what we're seeing here. I think that an experiment is the most likely answer. End quote. Scientists have openly admitted that they spray chemicals into the atmosphere, and have said they plan to do this in order to help with things like global temperatures. Solar geoengineering is just one idea that's been presented in order to help fight global warming, and although teams of researchers have said this could help cool the planet, many have expressed their concerns about unwanted side effects. Studies are being carried out by scientists in order to work out the correct amount of chemicals that needs to be sprayed into the atmosphere, saying that the dosage has to be correct in order to tackle climate change. Scientists have said there's still teething problems, and that these need to be worked out before anything is carried out, saying that there's definitely uncertainty surrounding this intervention. They did say though that it's worth the risk, and that we could see dramatic benefits. Dr. Peter Irvine, who led the study, said the following, The analogy is not perfect, but solar geoengineering is a little like a drug which treats high blood pressure. An overdose would be harmful, but a well-chosen dose could reduce your risk. End quote. Others have gone down this route and said that chemicals sprayed into our atmosphere could explain these anomalies that are appearing in different locations. This isn't the only place where these types of anomalies have been detected. This happened recently over the United States. Residents were using weather apps and noticed that a large anomaly had appeared. People wanted answers for what they were seeing, with news crews eventually picking up on the story. Although no official explanation was given for the anomaly, it was reported by weather experts that the most likely explanation was that it was linked to the military, and that they'd been doing some testing in the area. Another similar event was reported when scientists at the University of Alabama in Huntsville said atmospheric conditions caused air traffic control to be suspended. Officials in the area detected a large blob on radar screens that at first could not be explained. Officials soon came forward and said they were behind the mystery blob, noting that the blob was admitted from one of their aircrafts as part of a routine test. Arsenal officials released a statement after residents started to demand an answer for what the blob was. In a statement, officials said that routine tests were being carried out and that reflective particles designed to help aircraft avoid detection by military radar were conducted at the arsenal. They said the following. This RR-188 showed as an anomaly on local weather screens as weather conditions caused it to linger longer than normal. End quote. 
Scientists at the University of Alabama in Huntsville said the atmospheric conditions caused the anomaly to be suspended in the air, rather than falling back to the earth as was intended. The military said that people were never meant to see the anomaly, and this was meant to be conducted without people knowing. The military then said that delays with these weather conditions caused the blob to then show up on radar screens. Redstone officials said these chemicals are commonly used by the military in training and testing operations, saying the following. Redstone is committed to ensuring environmental stewardship, while balancing that with our critical missions to support the warfighter. Officials said this spray will not have any environmental effects. Interestingly, although scientists have said they need to conduct more tests before these chemicals are sprayed into the sky, some have theorized that these chemicals are already being put into the atmosphere, and have said that these anomalies that are being detected by radar prove this. Not everyone has got on board with this testing though, and other scientists have warned that by doing this it could cause a reaction from Mother Nature, and in turn cause more damage than good. As of right now, scientists plan to carry on with studies into geoengineering. So what do you make of this photograph, and what do you think is causing this anomaly? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.